it's my most favorite videos to do and it's unboxing of the water bags please guys stay with me hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel my name is Oksana thank you very much for clicking on this video today I'm gonna do unboxing of a quarter bag this bag is absolutely exceptional and I've been waiting for this bag believe it or not for more than two years it's my last offer oh by the way this is offer from my local boutique my last offer was two plus years ago and uh, I mean but they will come to the story if you hear my voice a little bit rusty I'm really really sick but I want to film this video because this video I want to post on Christmas so Merry Christmas Happy New Year this is not only the gifts uh, for this Christmas that I received I'm gonna do also another video everything that I got for Christmas I will include this bag at the end but I truly believe this bag deserves its own video so without any further ado I'm gonna um, unbox this um, handbag and then clearly I'm gonna uh, tell you a little bit of this story so let's proceed usually like you know uh, many youtubers like to say okay guess what is it is it the Birkin Kelly or Constance I'm not gonna ask you to do that but if you want please obviously comment what do you think it is uh, I'm always trying to be as precious as possible with uh, you know with everything the packaging and everything so even in my collection when one day or another I decided to sell something it's usually in pristine condition so here's the bag obviously inside the dust bag then we have a pillow we have a receipt I will share the price as well here's the care booklet then I have the actual ID of the bag and I have a raincoat I heard that from now on Hermes doesn't provide raincoats if you know guys please comment below but from what I heard no longer the raincoats because they're trying to be somewhat protective of the environment and even this bag um, when I received it at the boutique it was previously it was always in the plastic Oops, just a second and this time it was kind of just um, you know kind of like almost like a stamp paper cover and I was even asked my essay is it a return she goes no 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 from now on we don't cover with plastic once again if you know guys please comment uh, below I want to also include uh, the video me um, actually being at the boutique and um, receiving an offer I was kind of like in that special room in the special room I'm in the special room guys getting something special okay anyway are you ready guys two handles <laughs> okay what a beauty so this is Birkin 30 in Epsom leather with gold hardware and the color is gold so it's the most I would say classiest and desirable combo of many it's gold on gold but mostly people wanted to have in Togo when it comes to the Birkins this is an Epsom leather and in my personal collection when I get something in Epsom 
I don't know, somehow I always have a good experience. I recently purchased also a handbag on the pre-love market in a blue color. It was blue anchor and Epsom leather uh, with gold hardware and I absolutely love that handbag. That handbag from year 2019. So this is clearly a handbag from year uh, 2023. So you know the gold always comes with the uh, uh, contrasting white stitches. And that's how it looks like. I'm gonna open also right now and show you how it looks like inside. But before I proceed, I wanna share the price of this handbag. As I said, this is year 2023 purchase and it's after the price increase. And also often people say like, oh, Epsom leather, it looks so plastic, it's so unnatural. And uh, I respect that opinion, but at the end of the day, guys, uh, it's Hermes. Hermes, they don't do bad leathers or bad quality leathers. Yes, it's a stamped um, leather, but that's what makes this leather is so durable. So anyway, this handbag, in year 2023, Birkin 30 in Epsom leather, and this is return style. Also remember, when it's return style, it usually um, becomes like more softer because I can see that in my Birkin, which is 2019, the leather is really soft. So the the basic price is 13,500. In Toronto, we have 13% taxes. So the taxes is 1,755. In total, this handbag, as per today in Canada, specifically in Ontario, where we have 13% taxes, $15,255. So that's how much it costs. By the, by the way, once again, when people say, oh, Epsom is not as uh, luxurious as Togo, um, sorry to disappoint you guys, but the actual price of uh, Epsom is more expensive compared to the Toga. I don't know why, but the Epsom, uh, Birkin and Epsom, always more expensive than Birkin and Toga. And it's not because it's Richerne or Salier. Obviously, Salier always more expensive, but even Richerne in Epsom is more expensive than in Toga. I don't know why, don't ask me, but that's the reality. So anyway, let's unbox completely. I'm so excited. It's all covered in plastics, clearly. <laughs> okay, so let me just, I'm forgetting that I'm actually even filming because I got this bag, as I said, guys, um, almost like two months ago and I'm being good. It's been sitting in my closet, you know, for <laughs> more than two months because I want to be as a Christmas gift because, you know, when it comes to um, Hermes handbags in general, not even uh, quota, but especially when it comes to the quota bag, it's not easy to get. So this is just kind of like, you know, plasticky things. And then we have a clochette. It always comes in this little pouch. Oh. So. Here is the clochette, once again, just the gold on gold. So let's just put the clochette for now, just like that. There you go, guys. And also I have um, uh, Zumoni organizers. I always recommend to get some kind of organizer, um, especially, you know, in light color handbags. So let me unwrap this one. They usually also include like a thank you card, which is very, very nice uh, bonus touch. And that's how it looks like. I just did it with one pocket um, and it's nice sometimes if especially in summer you want to put some bottle of water or even like you know glasses in case and this is the new product it's um, it's a base shaper for the uh, Birkin I usually don't carry anything really heavy just a second let me unwrap in such expensive handbags but I think it's nice to have so let me I'm gonna even remove my 
rings because I don't want to scratch or anything. So let me put this inside just to see how it fits. So the base is just like that. Some people don't like to have organizers. Maybe you just like to have a base, but I definitely like to have an organizers in my bags because I feel they give me a little bit more organization and at the same time, you know, protecting of the um, interior of the handbag. Because you know, when it comes to Hermes bags, they, um, you know, repair everything except for the interior. I don't know why it's, unexplainable to me but that's what they do so and this is the organizer i choose in light color it's kind of i think it's a light cream or something so this is the handbag in all beauty and i have actually also two rodeos that i personally think are absolutely um, the perfect for this uh, handbag in both kind of way and one of them i would say kind of be more summery and another one more wintery so let me remove this um, lock because i don't like to put so much and also i find that the locks are quite a bit of heavy so they kind of like you know bend the bag so this one is one that i got at my hermes appointment when i got a handbag and uh, I, if you want also i will include the video um unboxing of my quarter bag that i got um this year in january in flagship store in paris hermes so this is more summery 100 percent. it looks very very summery and the other option if i want to be a little bit more wintery like let's say in winter with darker clothes and um, clothes and um, let's say darker denim clearly for winter this is the other options more wintery and i think they both look uh up looks uh look absolutely fantastic so there you go guys so excited about this handbag um to be honest I clearly love both Birkin 25 and Birkin 30. In fact, if you want, I can do comparison between Birkin 25 and Birkin 30. Also, I can do comparison between uh, Salier and Returné because my Birkin 30, both of them actually in um, Returné and my uh, Birkin 25 in Salier. So we can also compare the structure of the bags. But, um, I love Birkin 30 because of the length of the uh, handles. I love the capacity of Birkin 25. It's absolutely perfect size. But what I dislike about Birkin 25, it's those short handles. And it's not only that, you know, I cannot easily, I still can put on crook of my arm, but not as easily. Mostly I dislike because I have to be extremely cautious when I'm just kind of like trying to put on crook of my arm, just not to scratch the bag, etc. So um, I'm going to have another video, guys, when I'm going to talk about my journey to my third quarter bag from the local boutique. Because from the local boutique, I got three quarter bags. I got Kelly uh, 28 epsom black um, noir color with gold hardware i got my um birkin touch and ostrich um, and uh, and i got this um gold on gold once again birkin uh, 30 uh, epsom leather gold on gold so it's um yeah it's my third quarter bag and i want to tell you the story how long it took me and i'm as i already mentioned it's like more than two years and how much i pre-spent and you know at what point i'm pretty much like stop shopping um at my local boutique before i got an offer because i almost like don't see the reason why i should shop if i don't see any offer on the horizon so anyway that's about it for today guys um please comment what do you think of this beauty once again it's birkin 30 epsom leather return gold color with gold hardware so please put your comment uh, comments what do you think of this um offer <laughs> my third offer from the local boutique as i said stay tuned the uh, tune the other video is coming in regards to 
my uh, journey, how much I pre spent, etc. etc. So that's about it for today. I hope you're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and in general holidays. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you on my next one. Bye bye.